The River's Tale by Rudyard Kipling. Twenty bridges from tower to queue wanted to know what the river knew. Twenty bridges or twenty-two, for they were young and the Thames was old. And this is the tale that the river told. I walk my beat before London town, five hours up and seven down. Up I go till I end my run at Tide End Town, which is Teddington. Down I come with the mud in my hands and plaster it over the Maplin sands. But I'd have you know that these waters of mine were once a branch of the River Rhine, when hundreds of miles to the east I went, and England was joined to the continent. I remember the bat-winged lizard birds, the age of ice and the mammoth herds, and the giant tigers that stalked them down through Regent's Park into Camden Town. And I remember like yesterday, the earliest cockney who came my way, when he pushed through the forest that lined the strand, with paint on his face and a club in his hand. He was death to feather and fin and fur, he trapped my beavers at Westminster, he netted my salmon, he hunted my deer, he killed my heron off Lambeth Pier. He fought his neighbour with axes and swords, flint or bronze at my upper fords. While down at Greenwich, for slaves and tin, the tall Phoenician ships stole in, and North Sea war boats, painted and gay, flashed like dragonflies. Eareth way. And Norseman and Negro and Gaul and Greek drank with the Britons in Barking Creek, and life was gay and the world was new, and I was a mile across at Kew. But the Roman came with a heavy hand, and bridged and roaded and ruled the land, and the Roman left, and the Danes blew in. And that's where your history books begin.